there's no doubt <laughs> that there was a spaceport there. Uh, the famous uh, Sumerian king Gilgamesh, around uh, 2900 BC, uh, looking uh, for, for immortality by joining the gods on their planet. Uh, that was one of his uh, destinations, uh, hoping to be carried aloft from the Sinai Peninsula. <clears throat> now, what happened to that spaceport? We saw what happened at Giza. Uh, as I mentioned, around 2024 BC, uh, one of the wars between the uh, competing, clashing clans of the Anunnaki uh, led to the use of nuclear weapons. And one of them, or actually uh, two of them, two of those weapons were used to obliterate the spaceport in the Sinai. Uh, this is a NASA photograph of the Sinai Peninsula from space, and you can see the huge, the huge uh, cavity uh, still visible, and all the cracks in the in the surface of the peninsula that resulted from that. So the spaceport was literally uh, vaporized. I've uh, gone. Uh, to the Sinai Peninsula uh, several times uh, while it was Egyptian and Israeli and, and back Egyptian control. And uh, in, in that place where you see this great uh, uh, cavity, uh, which is in, in the center of a valley surrounded by pure white, pure white limestone mountains, you see the pure white. There is a huge, a huge valley covered with blackened, barren through stones, totally broken up and totally barren through. And this is what remains to this day of that spaceport. <clears throat> now then there was the landing place up there.